so glad you could join me here today. Today we'll be doing a nice little interesting painting. I hope you can follow along with me. Let me run the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. They'll be in the same order I have them on my palette. While they're doing that, let me tell you what I got done up here. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas, pre-stretched, double primed, and I added a thin layer of the liquid white. I have to the side a little jar of liquid white. It's a thin down white, that's all it is. And rather than that, it's liquid, ready to go. Let's get started with today's painting. That today was a good day to paint. Going in with my trusty old two inch brush, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna save this brush for later. I feel like that brush would be better for um, for grass or whatever. So going into a little bit, little touch of phthalo blue. And make sure you tap the bristles both sides to get an even distribution of paint. There. As you can see, even distribution. Now, let's come up here to our painting. And just do crisscross strokes. We'll blend all our brush strokes in a sec. But as of now, just block it in. There. There we go. And as you can see, the paint gets lighter towards the horizon and at the top. Now, let's darken up our corners. Let's go into a little bit more phthalo blue. Just a little bit. Tap in our bristles, that paint. Now, let's come up here. There. Right along here. Perfect. There we go. Now, let's just block in what might be water. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'd rather block it in now. And if I choose not to have water, I just cover it up later. But if I want to have water later on, it's going to be much harder, so I prefer just doing it now. Now, let's go ahead. Let me get a trusty old fan brush. It's going to straight titanium white. Load up your bristles. Now, to that, I'm going to bring some out to the side and a little bit of midnight black. Tones it down graze it down I mean and just load up both sides make sure you have a good amount of paint on the brush now just a little bit there we go as you can see we have a lot of paint on that brush it's a little gray down now let's decide our farthest cloud would probably be live out here don't let that brush stop moving keep that brush going until you're completely done with your cloud there just like so and that's the cloud that's going to be the farthest away when you look into the painting now maybe maybe out here we have a cloud that lives closer to us or looks closer there you can make it any shape you want any shape any size you're the creator of this cloud now let me go into a little bit more black just to darken up our paint a bit more. There, load it both sides. Full with paint. Now, 
hits the side. Another another cloud. Maybe maybe it lives right along here. Shoom. And think like if you're looking from the bottom up, you would see the base of the cloud. There. And maybe yeah, let's let's do that big one. Well, maybe not too big. <laughs> I I changed my mind a lot. There. Just going in circles. There. Just a bit. And as you can see, we have the silhouette of clouds. Now, let's go into pure titanium white. This time, no black, no nothing. Load up your brush full with paint. As you can see right here. Same brush, just wiped it off a bit. Now, let's come up here and decide where the highlights and shadows live. If you don't want these to look like stormy clouds, I would suggest you just leave the dark paint showing at the base. I just want the base to look like shadows. Shadows that live underneath. But if you want stormy clouds, leave some more distance. All depends on what you're trying to achieve. Now, let's come up here. It's the same procedure as when blocking in that base. All you're doing now is just using a different color. There. Here we go. You got to decide all the shadows, where the light live, all that good stuff. There. There we go. Now, let's go ahead. Let's add our, our little highlights to these other clouds. Every time I look up to a cloud, I always see the bottom darker and the top lighter. So I thought I would start incorporating that there. Just like so. And that's cloud right here. Right here, I'm thinking of shape and character of that cloud. The bottom would be our shadows. We're looking up. There we go. There. Now, we have to blend it out. With that same two inch brush we use for our sky, I'm gonna use this brush, the corner of the brush, very lightly, very, very lightly, just the corner. Lift up, we'll come back, we'll go across once I'm done with all of them. Very lightly, very, very lightly. There. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Lift up. Lift up. Lightly lift up. There. Now we can go across. We're all clouds. And just like that, you have a wonderful sky with clouds. If you wanted to. You can go ahead and grab some white and just add some stringy effects. 
some spots. Okay. Same thing. Go across ever so lightly. Now. Little less than 10 minutes, I believe. The old clock on the wall is telling me how to get it going. I've been taking my sweet, sweet time. I have a monitor to the side. That's why you may catch me looking off to the side. Um, let's go ahead. Same or clean, dry, two-inch brush. I'm going to midnight black and some sap green. Midnight black, sap green. There, tap it on the brush. And somewhere along those lines. There. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to just smear it, really. Uh, I'm too, too lazy to tap it out and do all that stuff. I only care about that edge at the top. Everything else, I can really care less. There we go. That easily. We have the basic outline of our grass. Now, let's go ahead. Let's go into some cadmium yellow. Tap it into the bristles. And I'm going to take it through a little bit of sap green. And I want pure yellow. There. A little bit more green. Oh, yeah, that's a nice color. I have a multitude of colors on the brush. Now, let's come up here. Very lightly. Very, very lightly. Just tap those colors onto this base color. Maybe a little bit more green. Change up the tone a bit. Just slightly. Okay. Maybe maybe let's add a little bit of blue in there. It's fun to play with your colors and test out your colors and see what, what gives you what. Different color mixes will give you different effects. And you just have to play around a bit and figure out which one you like the best. A little bit of pure cadmium yellow. There. All I'm doing is just tapping on our highlights. There we go. Just a couple here and there. You decide. Now, at first, there was the option for some water, but I think we're going to scratch that idea and go a different route. Let's go ahead. Let's grab some sap green and a lizard crimson. Mix that up. We're going to mix up a nice brown. Usually I have some dark sienna to the side, but I just forgot today. There we go. Now, let's add a little bit of black into there. There we go. Just mix up that paint. 
Now, let's come up here and we're going to do like a little mini cliff. So, just blocking in some color. Nothing special, really. There. There we go. Just whatever you want. There, just scratch off. You can probably hear how much I'm scratching. Scratch off the extra paint. There. Now, let's go ahead. Let's mix up a brand new... Uh, brand new pile of that color we're gonna need more of that color so just mix it up they're the same colors some black in there just to dull it down I want it well mixed. Now, I'm going to grab a little bit of white. It's too much to the green side. Let's take a little bit of crimson. I like it to the red side. Here we are. Let's take some white. There we go. A little bit of black in there. More white. Let's do it in a different pile. Let me clean off my knife. Okay. Let me pile up this paint. I have a feeling we might need some more. There. Just random changes of color, as you can see here on my palette knife. Now, let's go ahead. Let's, let's highlight. And it's nothing too bright. I don't want it too bright. I think it looks just right. It looks more subdued, more natural. There. Ever so gently. Just like if you're painting painting a mountain. That's the same mentality you have to have. There. Just like that, we have like a little mini cliff going on. Now, I want the grass. I don't like the grass being straight held back. I want it to overgrow this area. I want it all, all crazy. There. Load up your brush. There we are. There. Let me get more sap green. There. 
That looks a little better to me. Now, let's go ahead and let's just, I think we'll cover up right here this area. So, what I'm going to do is go back into Midnight Black with the slightest touch of Sap Green. I have a big palette. As you may know, I have the Bob Ross palette. Yet, I still run out of space. <laughs> okay. So, just sort of decide where you want to cover up and where you don't. Just loading up. Now, I could care less about the base down here. But I think I think I want a nice little bushy tree. Let's come up here. Let's decide. There. Okay. Load up some more paint. A little bit more sap green. Just play with color. Play with the colors you have. I try to do a limited palette that way uh, people could follow along. But if you want to, heck, you can use all the colors in the world you want. There. Let me load up a couple, couple more darker spots. There we are. Whatever we get there is fine. Now, let's go ahead. Let's highlight everything we have. Let's go into a little bit of cadmium yellow. Just straight cadmium yellow. I don't want sap green. Load up your brush. And let's come up here and tap. Okay. Just like so. Just tap it. Tap very lightly. This doesn't take too much pressure. Nor too much time. There. Now if you don't want it too bright, just keep tapping on the same spot. And I'll blend in more with the color underneath. There we go. Just like that. We have ourselves... Some nice little grass. Now, let's go into sap green. Load it up. There. See how much paint there is? Sorry about that. Now, let's come up here to our painting. And think about where the, the little leaves would be. I gotta think about every little thing. There we go. There. Some sap green. A few little leaves would shine right there.
there we are. Now, let me let me hit some more spots. Let's go ahead. Let's add in a little indication of a little tree trunk. There, just something, something light. And I'm gonna cover it up. There we go. There. Just like so. Fairly easy, not too complicated, I hope. Now, let's go ahead. Let's load up a little bit of brown. There we go. There. Just right there. Shoot. Fairly easy. Now, let's grab a nice clean fan brush. Take it into ivory black, a little sap green. There. Let's come up here. Let's decide. Let's decide where our little um, leaves live on this tree. How many? You decide. You're the the one in charge when painting. No one can tell you that's right, that's wrong. As long as painting should be fun. As long as you're not hurting someone. Or yeah, as long as you're just not hurting someone. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's highlight this tree. Let's go into our fan brush, a little bit of cadmium yellow, just like so. A little bit of sap green. There. Load up your fan brush, as you can see here, full with paint. And Let's come up here and just lightly tap it. No pressure. Nothing bad will happen if you use pressure, but it doesn't require pressure. It really doesn't. There. Just like so. There we go. Boom. And then here a bit. Now, let's add another little extra highlight. Let's go ahead. Let's go into more cadmium yellow. Straight cadmium yellow. It'll be lighter. And let's come up here. And wherever you think the sun would touch it just a bit more. So, here and there. Not trying to overdo it. Okay. There. There we go. Let's fix up right here the feet of the tree. Okay. Just like that. Grab ourselves a nice little tree. Now, let's. Let's add on another tree, but this tree will be different. We're gonna go ahead into our dark color, our dark brown. Okay, load up your brush. Hopefully you can see that. And let's come up here 
Nah, actually, let's do a bravery test. Let's cover up that cloud. Bring that out. Let's do one of those big trees. A little bit more black. And just, just load up some basic color. Sorry, my video cut off. Uh, I don't know how long I was talking to myself, but all I did was put in that tree with my dark brown, and I'm going into some light. Just tap some light. There we go. There. Shoot. A little bit more light. And just tapping with the brush. Okay. Then I'm going to go to ivory black. And add a couple little shadows. There. And last thing I want to do is maybe maybe add a little bush there and fix up a little bit here and there there you can paint anything with a fan brush or a two inch brush well i really hope you enjoyed this painting i'm really sorry for the video cutting off i had some issues but anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this painting and try this painting out. From all of us here, I'd like to wish each and every one of you the best of luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Goodbye.